morning. We're here to talk about Amber. Who is she? Who is that? that sassy lady. Amber, it is a, well, it is a incense, a solid incense. And I best know it as a stone from Jurassic Park. That's the dinosaurs in the background. Or a squirrel. I've never heard him sound like that before. Coming from, driving from the Middle East, I got a product in the mail not that long ago. And it made me think, it's called Amber Trail, it made me think, what is amber? Do I know the smell of amber? And this one is labeled amber. It's also got sandalwood, because usually when you're building a cologne or a perfume, you're throwing things in. But since it's it's mainly those two ingredients, I feel like I have a little understanding of what it could smell like, but I wanted to do a deeper dive since really I'm all new to this. So amber, it is thousands of years old. There is something called ambergris, which is a whale vomit. And the amber we're talking about today is not that, but that is also like a fragrance. A lot of things are, they have to come from somewhere. So animals sometimes have those things. And actually that is very expensive, I believe, because who wants to collect that? Uh, but it is actually a mixture of things. So it's not just one thing. And therein lies uh, a little variance of what exactly amber could be. Now this is kind of like, you probably forget these words because I know I would but uh, I'll try to say them anyways. One of the three main ingredients that make up amber. So wait, first of all, amber is a, I've heard it described as a deep, a warm and a sweet smell. And I've even heard it called spicy. So it's got, it's got all of that. That is really a wide range of ideas there. But one of the uh, three parts of it is called laptinum. Hopefully it's laptinum or laptinum. And it's an actual sticky resin. They make it from flowers. I gotta check to really figure out what exactly a resin is, but what I think of it is being like reduced down, kind of eliminating all the, the liquidy parts and just getting the pure essence of it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Another part is benzoium. And uh, it's also a resin couldn't tell you anything about it. And then the third part that makes up amber is vanilla. So when you hear amber, it's, it's people taking these um, old ingredients and just putting them together. So really amber can be, it's not really like a true form of amber. It just kind of has to fit in somewhere into that group, but to have like, this is exactly amber, there's no such thing. I believe when they were saying it's out of the Middle East, um, they, I had read that it comes from like desert plants. Um, not exactly sure, maybe that benzoium is, is a desert plant. But, so it gets its sweet side from the vanilla because vanilla is very sweet. It also can be substitute, I'm wearing this by the way because it's very Jurassic Park. <laughs> It's sweet from vanilla, but it can also be, tonka bean can be substitute. So really there's those, those playing around parts. Um, it has many different families. The, the one source I read said it was from the oriental family of, of scents. And so it's got that warm, that warm feeling. Uh, it was suggested maybe in like the winter months is when you'd want to wear one of these scents. That's really cool. I gotta get that picture. We don't get ducks very often, so always a big treat. Um, so yeah, that's uh, it's a little bit more about like what amber is and uh, other things could really like what is a tonka bean and what is a resin. There's there's just it just keeps going on and on and on but we will stop it there. Amber also, if you're talking about Jurassic Park, that stone in Jurassic Park, the first Jurassic Park from a long time ago, had a little mosquito inside with the genetic code of dinosaurs, but that little stone is 
a resin, a tree resin that had been petrified um, over millions and millions of years to become stone-like. I don't think anyone would be making a fragrance out of that stone, although possibly. Does it have a smell? I don't know. But today's amber is not, today's amber can be a synthetic blend of multiple things. So there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, by the way, did a shave. Give this a like. If you learned something, give it a comment or a like. Thank you.